Hello folks, and here we are again, and we're going to the Underground Temple in 2-3. And we're going to get past the Dragon God. So you see a little bit of a death sentence there. So this Dragon God's brutal, it's not like your archetypal fight in the Souls games. So this is more of a, like, a mind game, or a puzzle, and you just need to kind of slip past him. It's a bit of a hide-and-seek type of thing, so here we go. So, um, you want to avoid, obviously avoid the dragon. He's going to punch up against that window there, and if you get too close, he'll smash you. And you want to be careful, because he can wipe out all your HP, and obviously you have to start again, which is very frustrating, and I probably did that about ten times. Um, well, probably more than that, actually, maybe twenty times. So, um, if you're here, you, you might be in a similar situation. I'm a rookie Souls gamer, and I would imagine that most of the people watching this video are too. So, uh, anyway, you want to hide behind that pillar. And every time we get a... We hit the pillars blocking our way, which you see on the path. You might get one or two hits. I'm a bit cautious. I tend to go... I think in this one I probably went for one. If I felt a little bit adventurous, I might have gone for two. But I think usually I went for one. But you might be able to get two... Um, knocks in to knock away those pillars. I think they take about four slashes all together. Oh, I've got two in there. And then you just want to run back to the entrance, go back inside and do, do the same again. Now, while you're hiding behind the pillar, you'll see the dragon. When his eyes are yellow... He's kind of de -aggroed. When his eyes are red, he's getting angry and he's going to attack you. But when you go and approach the pillars blocking your way to hack him down, uh, wait for the dragon to look away. And then you can walk along, go to the next pillar and hide behind the next pillar. And then do the same again all the way down this pathway. So there you can see his eyes are yellow. Bit of a blink there. I don't know if he's winking. And then he's looking the other way, and then you just run on down. Do the same again, get a slash in, and run all the way back to the entrance. I tried hiding behind a pillar on the way back, but it'll kill you every single time, so you need to go back all the way back to the entrance, or that's what I found. And then just repeat the process over and over. I found this a bit frustrating at first, but... Um, once you'll get to know how the character behaves, as with most of the uh, characters, or even all of the characters. Um, I suppose once once you read this one, it's relatively straightforward. And um, you just need a bit of patience. You don't want to be greedy and try and get an extra slash in. If you're not sure, just get that slash in and run back. So I just got one slash there. Run all the way back. And uh, do the same over again. I absolutely love the design of that dragon. It's amazing. Well, the whole game is amazing, but this this uh, this boss is just awesome. All the bosses are awesome. The graphics are just amazing, aren't they? Just out of this world, it just blows me away. It's just uh, great to just watch it, watch the animation and everything. The ideas are just superb as well. Creativity, fantastic. So, um, yeah, once you defeat this uh, boss, demon, this is an arch demon, and this will open up the way for the inner ward, inner ward on the first level. So, what's inner ward? Is that one, three? One, one, four, one, three, one, four. So there we are, he got hit in there. Went a bit too close. So we got some heals. Oh, another thing as well is you want to wear the thief ring. So you can see that I forgot to mention that. Wear the thief ring, so that'll make it a lot easier. I'm not sure if you can get through this level without the thief ring. I watched some other YouTube videos and I think they said you can't get through this without the thief ring. I suppose maybe like a really skilled player might. Um, so yeah, um... I ran out of hills there. I've got some other hills there, but I've a I actually swapped over the ring to the regeneration ring, so I can wait until I get the HP back, and I can swap back to the um, what did I have? Cling ring. 
But ideally, obviously, you don't want to get hit at all the way through this level. One hit and you're done. Oh, I swapped the thief ring to the regeneration ring. Regenerator ring. And now I swapped it back to the thief ring. So I only just put that ring on just to get me health back. Obviously, I've got plenty of health. I've got some health there, but I'm, I want to keep that. Um, yeah, so we've got the cling ring and the thief ring. So we all know what the cling ring does. That gets your energy bar up, uh, your HP bar up higher. Which you acquire in the first level. I pretty much equip myself with the cling ring and the regenerator ring on the hull. And I'll swap the regenerator ring over with the thief ring. If we've got some pain in the ass bosses. Although I think there was one boss where I was using the thief ring and the regenerator ring. I can't remember. That might have been Flame Lurker. So that an easy way to kill the Flame Lurker. That's on this channel as well. Brass rookies. I think I said in other videos, like, uh, once I get through this first game of Demon's Souls, I'll go through the whole game again and um, try and defeat the bosses with a little bit more grace and honour. Perhaps going for a melee attack and all that sort of thing. Obviously not a Dragon God, uh, this is going to be the same all the way through. It's just a hide and seek game. So we're hiding behind that pillar now, we just want to run on through. I can't remember if we've uh, done all the pillars. Yeah, we've cleared the way, so um, now we will activate a big harpoon arrow type of thing which will pierce the side of the dragon god. Of course, I was waffling on then. I forgot to. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't watching the screen properly. Look at that awesome animation. So great. So once this is done, we've got to pretty much do the same again to activate a second harpoon to pierce his other side. And there's a little bit of fighting. Well, fighting in inverted commas or quotation marks. Um, it's not really a fight, you just have to finish him off with a few blows. I was like, extra careful as you will see when we get there. Just finish him off with a bit of magic. So, same again. You can see where I died before there, there's my souls, but I don't think there's any souls there if I pick them up as zero, but uh, I'll ignore that. So, uh, yeah, we, need, we, we want the dragon to be facing away from us, and then we... we Go to the next pillar, get a hit or two in to clear the pathway of the pillars. And Bob's your uncle. Things you need to be patient, one blow, and that's it, all the way back to the start again. So I've got one hit, I'm being extra cautious here. I think this video is about 20 minutes long. Um, I expect if you're not as cautious as I am, you probably get it done in 10, maybe. So one more hit, extra cautious. So yeah, I, um, these Demon Souls, Demon Souls, the Souls games. I'm, I'm, I've said in most of the other videos. I'm kind of repeating myself, I suppose. But if anybody hasn't watched this video, I'm new to the Souls game, so a bit of a novice. I didn't think I was going to enjoy these types of games. I ordered Demon Souls and Elden Ring before kind of looking into what I didn't even know about Souls like games, Souls like games. And um, after reading, I thought, oh. Perhaps this isn't the game for me, because I don't like hard games. I'm more of an explorer. I like exploring. I like a little bit of a fight. And just a little bit of a challenge, but uh, not too difficult. So when I read that these games are brutal and difficult, I thought, hmm, perhaps I'm not going to enjoy this. But I did persevere, and uh, I'm pretty much addicted <clears throat> to Demon's Souls and Elden Ring. Demon's Souls at the moment, so working my way through that. It took me ages to get... Uh, into the Nexus to access the Archstones. Um, I'm playing 
this game originally. It took me about a week to get up the steps. Um, and to finally meet the phalanx. You know, like unlock the doors in Boletarium. It took me ages. <clears throat> and um, then we obviously have a good lear learning curve to get to grips with the combat me mechanics. And um, yeah, fantastic. And obviously, once you finish that little area, and the nexus opens up to all the other areas, the arch stones, yeah, it's pretty amazing. I didn't know what I was expecting. So I played a lot of Elden Ring. Um, I don't think I've killed any of the main bosses yet. Uh, is it Margit? Um, anyway, once I get through Demon Souls, I'll go back to Elden Ring and uh, see if my skill level has improved a bit. Last time I played Elden Ring, I was still struggling killing those giants. I could get through, is it Limgrave with those soldiers? Um, kind of got through that with relative ease, eventually. I went to the south, killed that big knight. So a little bit similar to the tower knight, the one that shoots the arrow. But he's relatively straightforward anyway, so not easy. And having a good explore. Amazing. Amazing game as well. I don't expect anybody watching this video that's playing Demon Souls will probably be playing Elden Ring as well. So if you're watching this video and you've got any comments about Souls games, yeah, leave a comment down below. I was thinking about getting some of the Dark Souls games. I've got a PS4. Obviously we're playing on a PS5 here. Um, so it'd be uh, interesting to play some of those games. I hear a lot of people mention Sekiro. So that'd be interesting. So if anybody's played Sekiro, leave some comments in below and uh, let us know what that game's like. I've heard a lot of people say that's their favourite Souls game. So I'll be an extra patient here. I don't want to get hit by the Dragon God. Scary. So we're making a run for him. I think we might have... What have we got to do next? I know there's a few obstacles in the way. So I'm waiting for him to look away. Be extra careful. There we go. Right, another... Pillar obstacle to get out of the way. I think once we're through this, we're pretty much plain sailing. Also, let us know what you think of Demon Souls in the comments below if you're a newbie. If you're probably a newbie if you're watching this video, most likely. Um, and let us know what you think. And any extra tips? Slowly does it, patiently does it. Also as well, like with the sort of like main bosses, I some of the bosses I cannot read. I think the only boss I could read, I'm still not very good at fighting it though, is the flame lurker. And I think the only reason I could read it is because I tried to beat it so many times, but there's a video I beat it using the thief ring and uh, magic, and the video is on the channel with that as well. But um some of the bosses I just cannot read at all. How do you read these bosses? So if you've got any tips on that, let us know. Or is it just a matter of just persevering, 
and uh, repeat and just meeting the boss and trying to learn the uh, moves. I noticed that like an Elden Ring, uh, some of the bosses, I just could not read what they were doing. Maybe if I revisit it, we'll see what happens. Mind you, I'll have to start the game again because some of the bosses I beat with the Ashes of War. Some of the early ones, but I got Margit to meet. Well, I've tried to have a go already, as you do, but um, I cannot read what he's doing. That's pretty much the name of the game, isn't it? In these Souls games, is to read their moves. Tower Knight, that was another one I could not. I could kind of read it, but I could not get out of the way. Mind you, I didn't use a thief ring on that. Maybe a thief ring could have come in handy with that. I've got a video up of the tower, like defeating the Tower Knight, but um, I was kind of getting just one shot on his heels and then running around. Uh, the steps, going up the steps, running around, down the steps again, hack on the ankles, then back up the steps, and uh, like that. So um, I couldn't stay in, stay in the main arena and beat the Tower Knight. I tried that quite a few times, but um, I got stamped on by the shield or hit by a spear every single time. So where are we? One hit, I think that's it, and we can run on through. Get that second impaler. Pierced into the dragon god. Makes a lot of noise, doesn't he? So here we go. Making a run for I'm sure there's another pillar as well you gotta hack down or there we go. So you can hack that all in one go. You can see the fires come in and then just run on through. And that is all the hard bits done. So we just activate this impaler. I went on that side, just in case. And here we go. Awesome. the ground. I'm going to pick up a few goodies on the way through. And there he is waiting, so I just finish him off. I used some ranged weapons here. I didn't want to get too close because I know his breath can kill you while you try and finish him off, so I stayed a good distance away because I didn't want to go through all that again at that stage, at this stage. This is having a good look around because it is pretty amazing, isn't it? So there we go, so I've locked on there, as you can see. Keep my distance and uh, just fire in some magic there. Finish him off. I know you can use your melee weapons, your swords, but I'm taking no chances. Finish off with a shot with a longbow. There we go. And there we are. Dragon God dead. And just pick up some loot. And Bob's your uncle. So there we are. So that's how you defeat the Dragon God. Is it God Dragon or Dragon God? Dragon God. So look around. So I think this completes this level.
Job done. So there we are, that's the end of that. Get your dragon souls and bits and pieces. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.